welcome back <laughs> well, what list bad i know don't even don't even start um it's episode 100 and this is my second time recording this not today but in general um before y'all start attacking me about where i've been what's been going on i intended to do this much sooner than now right i actually recorded um like the intro and outro for the 100th episode because my original idea was to like drop snippets in and you know just run through that way but the thought of (laughs) editing um 99 episodes (laughs) <laughs> that gave me the worst the worst the worst the worst anxiety ever like I was it was real bad it was real bad so that's why I kind of been putting it off and then I finally decided the other day like um the show is called pointless talks so why not just talk about all 99 episodes that got us here so the goal is um got my handy dandy phone right here so I'm going to actually talk about all the episodes but i'm going to play a snippet from each we're going to see where it ends up and see how this works this is a first time run don't we're not trying to make this look too ghetto um but we're gonna you know and also my day i flash flash the hair the hair soon come out because that's how you know my what listener because there's not one episode with this hair and it's been in for two months now yikes don't kill me but you know me the on the road me the road me go all about on them things and such and such and i'll talk about that in the next episode i'm gonna not promise that next one i drop this week because what also happy pride <laughs> happy pride um y'all this is being recorded on june 30th and it is more than likely going to drop Hopefully I'm done in time so I can edit it and drop it by noon. But y'all not watching it today. Y'all should be out on Christopher Street down by the pier. Well, I'm talking like everybody's in New York. This is how you know where I really want to be today. But, um, you know, y'all should be enjoying yourselves. It's Pride. It's the last day of Pride. It's a Sunday, you know, for those of you who celebrate and things and whatever. Um, I hope y'all had a good Pride month. There's a lot of things that happened that, you know, we survived. So we're just going to get into these episodes and see what's popping. Okay, so I'm not trying to play like a whole, we're not trying to make this too long. Like quick on fast, fast on quick. Like we're not trying to make this too long because no, that means I got to edit even longer and then it's going to take longer to upload to YouTube. Like we're trying to make this as efficient as possible, but still give you the greatness that is all 99 episodes of the Pointless Talks podcast. So, my quick get tonight. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to leave the phone over here or put it up. I say logo, 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 logo. Yeah. Um, so, we'll start with episode one. You know, two lesbians, one with exceptions. <laughs> uh, let's see which part is jumping. Thank you for tuning in. Oh, to the Pointless oh, oh. Talks podcast. First of all, this audio was trash, but. Um, and I always come back to that. I'm like, who would make this choice? Y'all don't want me to be rude. I'd be like, so it was a choice for me for the... Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it's funny. Okay, so that episode, first of all, I was... Before we even recorded that episode, right, I had already created a good majority of all the social media platforms for Pointless Talks. Um... I couldn't decide if I wanted it to be the Pointless Talks podcast with them sugar or just the Pointless Talks podcast or I I didn't know what I wanted with name, but I know Pointless Talks had to be it because Pointless Talks. Um, So, yeah, but that episode we talked about, you know, like being gaybies and like, (laughs) you know, like essentially like what we identify as and things of that nature. Um, I still have exceptions, unfortunately. Love man like dog still and love woman gone to bed. Like, listen, I like people. I like people. So it's it's still there. This one girl they want me to tell her a lie, say, you know, I'm a lesbian, but I don't believe in lying to people. You're gonna take me as I am or go on by your business. You're lost either way. So that was that. I wish there was like a better way for me to like, oh wait, this is already somewhere in the middle. Look at that. Um but yeah, that episode was just like the intro, you know, of course, telling y'all about us and, you know, the point of the podcast. And 
I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not trying to be shady. No tea, no shade. Are there any other Caribbean podcasts that have surfaced since 2018 that are doing well? I need actual suggestions because I'm I'm still looking. You know, I know that there were some that came out, and I'm not sure if those fizzled out. And I, that is not the reason why I've chose to continue doing pointless talks it's because it's something i genuinely love and i'm not doing it for anybody but me really (laughs) like i'm doing it for the people for the culture for the people in the community or whatever but at the same time like i genuinely enjoy doing this podcast like granted it gives me anxiety like fuck but i do enjoy doing a podcast so it's it's for me at the end of the day for the love not for the likes um so i just want to know if like there are other caribbean podcasts that are out there that are thriving you know that have started since since then but yeah if y'all know any suggestions drop them in the comments so that I can go follow them and see what's popping. Maybe we can do like a cute little collab, you know? Okay, I'm already at like six minutes. We gotta wrap this up. I talk too damn much. But, um, oh, for those of you that are not watching this on YouTube, this is gonna be the last time I say this. All episodes moving forward are going to be videoed. So, if you are listening to this on SoundCloud, Spotify, iHeart, Google, Apple podcast, any of the platforms that we're on, and you want to watch me stumble over these, um, go on over to YouTube. There is video. So yeah. All right, let's get into episode number two. Go play. You know, there's a better way for me to do this, and I have the devices to do it. But my love struggle life apparently. So we're just gonna do it this way. Um, cause I could have just pressed play and have it played from the thing and then, yeah, you know, but whatever, we're doing it this way. And I don't know, I'm 12 minutes, I have 12 minutes remaining on this. So I'm not even know when I start listening to this, but yeah, come. Always going to say that they should teach you about, you know, writing checks and managing your bank accounts and all these types of things too. But the things that really shape the person you are and like actually who you are as a person, these things get so ignored because like I said earlier, it's a structure like you have to do <laughs> what it is to survive and sur- okay so this was the episode um depression anxiety and feelings and i didn't even remember that i touched on that <laughs> how they don't teach us like you know about feelings and things like growing up because like all they care about is like i said structure like the fundamental idea of surviving you know um I was real, real emotional <laughs> during this episode. I actually had a anxiety attack while recording it the first time because I started recording it and then like I literally started hyperventilating. Like I was freaking out because it's the second episode and I'm doing this by myself. Like, oh my gosh. Like I was so, whew. Yeah, that was a lot. Oh, also, if I start crying during this, don't judge me. <laughs> but yeah, I... I was, I was, yeah. And then, like, the beginning of this episode, a lot of people were like, you sound like a phone sex operator. And I'm like, bro, I was, like, in my feelings. I was crying. Like, (laughs) that episode was, for me, it was a lot. It might not have come off as such, like, listening to it back, like, as an outside person listening. But recording that episode for me was, like, so intense. I, like, literally freaked out. Like, I... I couldn't manage but you know i persevered as i so often do and look at this episode from episode 20 episode 20 from episode 2 to episode 100 like oh job bless like anyways um <sighs> episode three let me get into this one uh we just press play. oh oh wow yeah we were doing that she's like no 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 i'm not telling you i'm trans like i'm a woman he's like as a woman yeah so she then like grabbed his neck and went in for a kiss it's a whole bunch of gay people that live right in that little community and it's neat and it's pretty and at night time they turn it the fuck out like yeah, oh <laughs> that was about wilted manners <laughs> for those of you who live in florida um South Water specifically, Wilton Manors is a predominantly LGBTQ plus community. Um, they have like literally everything, like 
residences, businesses, um, leisure stuff, you know, bars, um, things to do. It's just like literally like a little community of the family. Um, it's pretty as hell over there. Like it's so neat and clean. Like I haven't been there in a while, but it's so clean and like, you know, and then they have like cute little gay bars and stuff and like little lesbian bars. Like it's cute. It's cute. Um, this episode was called I'm Not a Homophobe, I Have Gay Friends. Um, I had two guests on that episode that were, that are, as far as I know, cishet um, Caribbean men. One's from Dominica and one is from Jamaica. And that conversation, I got a lot of backlash. Well, no, not me. They got a lot of backlash <laughs> during um, from that episode. I had people DM me like, oh, this is so ignorant. I'm, I'm glad you were, you know, trying to educate. And, and that's really the point of the show. Like... It's not just for us who are, it's also for allies, it's also to educate. Um, so that episode for me was like a turning point in a way because it was like my first guests and it just happened to be people that aren't a part of the community. So it was like, huh, let's see how this goes. And y'all, y'all read them for filth. <laughs> So that was that was an experience. All right, episode four. I this I'm always talking about this episode, but let's let's see where this looks like it started a little bit here. I wish I could like just move the dial to where I want it to go. Alright, happy Valentine's Day to everyone you're going through. And then you get upset when I don't understand, and when I try to understand, you get frustrated. Well, see, we get annoyed very easily. Yeah. So I give up and be like, yo, fuck it, just don't talk to me. Like, they're completely black. I don't even... Oh, <laughs> They follow me on Snapchat, though. <laughs> I see it every day. I got Keeping an eye on you? Yeah, I got a message. Why did you block me? And I blocked you on that. See, like, why do people do that? If I blocked you on everything, why do you, like, comment so I know that you're not blocked on this? Do you want to get blocked why on this? Why are you so annoying? This episode, I believe we were talking about... Um, a same-sex relationship with that young lady and <laughs> that's where that came in about the blocking I am a very firm believer in um, not unblocking people um, because I blocked you for me specifically though I don't okay so earlier this year I went on a blocking spree like while I was gone from recording I went on a blocking spree and I blocked a lot of people people that I haven't even talked to in a while just in case you know Mercury retrograde or Saturn retrograde what we're in now or any other retrogrades whoever goes in Gatorade whatever nobody feels like huh I wonder how Janae is doing no don't wonder don't if you want to wonder, f find my social media for the business pages. So if it's Pointless Talks or Pointless Creates, find me there and figure out how I'm doing there. If you want to follow my Twitter, I guess, like, it's a lot of bullshit over there. So, I mean, at least you'll know I'm alive. But I don't, um, I don't believe in unblocking. I'm not going to say I've never done it, you know, but I just, I don't believe in unblocking. I, I want better for us as a people and i feel like when you realize that someone isn't in your best interest they're not satisfying the things that you require or even desire like if your boundaries are being violated, my thing is okay so for me specifically if i block someone it's because the boundaries have been violated like why are you playing in my face? But that episode is so funny to me because the title is Dildos Don't Get Soft and it was recorded on Valentine's Day <laughs> because I wanted to talk about the fact that men like to compete with um, the strappers, you know? And it's like, you cannot compete. Like, I can understand trying to compete with a toy, like if a girl is doing like, you know, self-love with toys because like the song say, like, not a choke you we spend eight years and you know put up on a back as and you know them there's something that i mean you can bend over yourself and eh. but somebody wearing a strap it's like unless you like semen like i don't see you know like oh it's not this and i'm like how do you know how do you know have you ever been penetrated by a strap you know so that's what that whole episode was about basically and it went into other subjects but as most of my episodes do but yeah the the basis of that one was talking about like same sex <clears throat> you know female relationships um lesbian relationships if you will um there's been so many updates to like you know 
the identification of the LGBT plus folks since the first episode came out. Um, if y'all want to cancel me because I'm a little ignorant about certain things, by all means, free will. But it, we have um, evolved since you know 2018. Um, there has been a lot more specifications as to how people identify so yeah but anyways um episode five is probably one of my favorite episodes if we're being honest um but let me play a little snippet doing in jamaica but the culture isn't quite ready for it yet which i completely agree with i mean like i said we're making strides and every time i find something that shows that we are making strides it just it's another check mark for us so it's just like you know go us um there's a fantasy novel that he's doing called black leopard red wolf it's gonna be like a series it's fantasy um it's about a church goer who went a <laughs> it's it's one of those you know conversion therapy type of things and he so this episode is called read gay episode five um and i talked about a lot of authors who have lgbt friendly or inspired novels or if the author is lgbt and caribbean queerabian look at me i can't even say caribbean no more it's just queerabian like forget the caribbean it's the queers but um the episode talks about um queer are <laughs> queer authors <laughs> jeez words things um and you know like their novels and yeah it's one of my favorite episodes some of those books i have purchased since some of them i have not um i think is June Read Caribbean Month? Someone's going to tell me. Um, but yeah, there's that. The next episode, I was so geeked about this episode. Like, I was so geeked. But let me um, let me play that. I found a way to make it work a little bit. Y'all probably were like, girl, I know what you're doing. But whatever, who cares? Just the event itself. Yeah, it's in terms of... Um more women mm -hmm. um better in terms of the music um it's <laughs> just better in terms of just, just overall i think the issue that earlier i had was going to parties in jamaica that it was that it wasn't a lot of women but then girls have started having parties and then it was like whoa <laughs> oh my God, look at okay. all these girls yes and then um yeah Okay, so this was a um, phone interview, actually, with Majan Webster. Um, the episode originated because of the Gay Agenda Manifesto um, that J Flag put out that had people in an uproar. Um, because, of course, you know, the gay agenda. But um, Majan wanted to come on and talk about the manifesto and also, like, you know, their experience as a LGBT woman in Jamaica. Like, um, that snippet was talking about, you know, like, the partying scene because just like many other, like, not even, like, countries, cities, states, um, there is typically, like, a few gay as far as like male clubs whereas there's like a sprinkle of girl clubs so there was um Majan was talking about you know like when the girls started doing the parties and stuff and it was like oh here we are and um on that respect shout out to yard 1292 because I've been to quite a few of their parties since the last recording also like what was it the U-Haul party was the last one that we had um the one prior to that was the Memorial Day, like Atlanta Carnival party. Uh, what was there another one before that? There's been a few. So, you know, shout out to June and Yard 1292 for, you know, bringing that to Atlanta because other than MSR, I mean, there probably are, like, as far as like for, you know, skin folk, um, I don't know of any other lesbian spaces. Um, I'm, I know that there are some, like, you know, others, but, um, yeah, and then, of course, like, Yard 1292 is the only one that caters to Caribbean folks, which I 
love <laughs> like i love to be able to go and listen to my soca my dance hall and like all the you know afrobeat and compa and all of that um amongst other lesbians i have seen that some of the gay boys have been coming out though and i'm all for it but you know it's caribbean at the end of the day which is really what i am interested in because I love my culture. I'm gonna really want to run a one baga, you know, cis het man and them fuckery. Like, you know, I just wanna listen to our music <laughs> and, you know, around our people. <laughs> but yeah, um, that episode was, that episode was very um, enlightening for me because I, my adult years, my out years, um, were spent in the United States. So I didn't, I don't have that experience to speak on. So it was great to have someone who was, um, also older, who knows, you know what I'm saying? What it's like between like the difference between the culture and then like being part of the community and all of that. And like, you know, just finding your place and things like that. So I was very, 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 was it was, and am still very grateful for Majan for coming on the episode to talk about that and the um, J flag manifesto. So yeah, next episode, this, <laughs> this episode, first of all, the title, people were like, what? And I was like, just listen. Cause yeah, what? Yeah. Well, I just started to realize like, I don't really like boys that much. I like girls more. And eventually it came to like, I totally like girls. And now it's like, boom, rainbows and cloud nine. And oh, gosh. You used to be at the nine? Hmm? You used to be at the nine? You said you, she just went a month ago. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, wow. I don't participate in those activities. Oh, I got a man. <laughs> what that mean? You can still party? You can't have friends? <laughs> <laughs> okay so this episode is titled she thought i was a dyke um it features a couple um feminine presenting lesbian and a ftm and the episode discusses you know the journey of navigating like I'm a lesbian, but I am attracted to an FTM. Does that make me bi? Like, it it covers a lot because that's a conversation that even still to this day that I'm, like, genuinely, like, curious about. Like, if you identify as a lesbian and you end up dating someone that's FTM, like, do you consider yourself then bisexual? And I have a whole episode planned surrounding that topic because it goes deeper than just, like, your identity. It also comes into play with, like, how you see your partner, you know what I'm saying? And then um, the pan umbrella also, cause like, am I bi, does that make me pan? Like, you know what I'm saying? So like, like I said, since this episode, since those episodes, a lot has <laughs> changed. A lot of new discoveries have <laughs> come into play where, um, you know identifying has is concerned so that was a really great episode and also very grateful for them to come on the episode and discuss their personal business because as caribbean people because the um the woman in the relationship is a haitian woman so that in itself was just like you know so yeah <laughs> uh, all right next episode oh i might need to <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then there's Martino Bay Pride, yeah. mm -hmm. which is organized separately. Um, we do have security at all our events, but generally you should have security at any event. Mm -hmm. But we've never had, in the three years we've been hosting Pride, any interference from external persons. And so when I think about um, not advertising publicly, my fear is really not a person hearing that, oh, this, this Pride event is happening there, because if you look at where our events were, for example, our Pride Sports Day was at um, uh, the, U the University of the West and is the Mona Bowl, which is right beside oh. Argosol, which is, mm -hmm. this is a, known as a volatile community <laughs> that is now experiencing an upsurge in violence, unfortunately. All right, so this is the follow-up um, episode to the Gay Agenda Manifesto. We had someone who was um, a part of J Flag, um, Glenn, come on and discuss also their experiences as well as you know 
pride in Jamaica for a lot of people who still are surprised that there was in is pride in Jamaica. But that episode, I I don't even remember. Did I reach out to him or did he reach out to me? I don't remember how that happened. This was literally what 2018. Um, boy, we all. Um, so that episode, you know, we talked about all of that, and a lot of people found out that there was pride in Jamaica because of that episode. So yeah, uh, let's see here. Some of these I might just like breeze through and just play a snippet from because I don't, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, let's see here. What is this? Colorful. It's like a checkered green and red, like, oh, you know, like a Christmas okay. present, kind of. <laughs> yeah. But um, I was reading up also because I know a lot of people don't know that he's actually married. He's been with his husband for like 20 odd years. But 20. Okay. That was, who is it? Neil Patrick Harris? Is that his name? <laughs> the the guy that plays um, in um, How I Met Your Mother. Uh, what's his name? He does like the, he's like legendary, but he does like some epic Halloween, like theme, like family theme, like costumes, like the whole family gets in. And, uh, we were discussing that. So it's LGBTQIA plus Hollywood. That's the name of that episode. Episode nine. We just reached nine. Mighty Jesus. Yo, we can chat to them. Um, <laughs> let's see. We get to episode 10. Transition, yeah, then you military. can't join. Sorry. You can't join. You have to wait until you go through your procedures. You already have your medication already started. You're already doing testosterone. They passed the law. Mm, I gotta look more into that. Which part of Florida? Not down here. Maybe up there. <laughs> <laughs> Stay away, my poor guests, my poor listeners. Anyways, but no, that's crazy though. So the concept is that they're going to be sleeping on the school yeah, on school like, grounds. Oh, so them can get shoot up to that night. I'm done. <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm, well, shit. I'm I feel out. like that. I don't know what the episode's about. <laughs> um, obviously school shootings because yeah, but also the title is Everybody Fear I Get Bun. Um, oh, let me read. There's a, there's a, what you call it. Oh, we're talking about religion, history, entertainment flaws. Some lady that told a lie about Buju. Oh, something about the electoral college. Eh, sounds like fun. <laughs> but apparently I was talking about people getting bun. Um, I think that was an Easter episode, if we're being honest. It, it's not about cheating. <laughs> I think that was an Easter episode. Um, let's see. Episode 11, gay levels. A relationship with a woman or... I mean, it's ignorant. It's my... <laughs> and I also feel like if I come out to my father, he's going to kick me out of his life. <laughs> and I can't deal with that right now. So, you know, even though as an adult, I live on my own. I pay my own bills. I don't ask him for anything. <laughs> It's my dad at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like if I were in a lesbian relationship and I felt like it was serious enough for me to end up going down the aisle or something of the sort or, you know what I'm saying, even moving in together or something, I would have to tell my father about that because that's a serious step. You get me? But these Nothing's changed. <laughs> um... Still haven't had the conversation with him for the same reason. Um, you know, I, sh I, sh I should I should poach that conversation. I actually had a thought the other day that I should um, try to have the conversation with him and like the same way I did with my um, little sister um, and see like basically like what his views are on it. Because I ask my dad random questions all the time just to antagonize him pretty much and be like, hey dad, how do you feel about this? And he'd just be like, why? And I'd be like, but he has matured a lot, you know, from when I was a child to, you know, my adult years. But I just haven't had a conversation with him because on one hand, it's kind of like, why does he need to know who I'm having sex with if it's not going to be like the person I end up married to? My father doesn't know anything about my dating life, like unless he's watching this now. Hey, dad, um, I wouldn't be surprised because he sent me uh, one of my TikToks the other day and I was like, Oh shit. <laughs> but at the same time, like I said, I pay my all my own bills. Like I feel like I conduct myself in a manner that 
I would not be opposed to my children seeing when I get older. Like if my children for some reason discover this podcast, it is a learning experience. They'd be like, dang, I don't want them to listen to it when they're 10, obviously. But you know, as an adult, because this is an adult podcast, I wouldn't care because yeah, your mom was out here slaying some, you know, that's, <laughs> but I mean, at the same time too, like if my parents want to listen to it, I wouldn't be surprised if my mom already listens, honestly. Also, hey mom, I would not be surprised because she found my, actually no, my dad found um, a Pointless Creates TikTok. Um, I was doing, yeah, it was a, it was a yard, tw- it was a yard 1292 <laughs> promo for when I was vending with them. Um, he sent the video to me. He didn't say anything. He just sent the video and I was like, so what about it? <laughs> like what? And my mom follows me on, um, TikTok, not TikTok, Instagram, my Pointless Creates Instagram. She hasn't followed Pointless Talks, but (laughs) we talked about how Caribbean parents like to pretend that they don't know things. You know, they like accept it in denial in a way. My mom knows that, you know, there's levels to this, but it's not something like we necessarily discuss. Like she... Funny enough, we went to Jamaica a couple months ago. We went to Jamaica in April, and she goes, oh, what happened to um somebody? Uh, she asked about somebody I went on a trip with, and I was like, mommy, when last year we talk about this person? She was like, oop, never mind. And I was like, yeah, don't don't ask me about nobody I don't talk to you about, please. But um, but yeah, so we she knows that you know she knows, but she's just like, girl, whatever. But um, let's get into this next episode. It's just simple as that. <laughs> simple as that. Uh-huh. So I don't believe everything that the Bible says. Maybe some things are true, mm-hmm. but I, I, I believe it's more so science okay. than anything else. Okay. We're going to touch back on you coming out the pussy gay. But, uh, <laughs> as far as that goes... Have you always felt this way about religion, or is it something that you developed over time? I think I developed it. I developed it over time. Do you think that came with acknowledging and accepting that you're gay, or was this before? I that? think it, I think it came with accepting who I am, mm-hmm. not even being gay, mm-hmm. but as a human being, mm-hmm. and just being a black man on wow. top of that. That was finesse um, from Trinidad, by way of New York City. Uh, the episode is called My Dick is for Decoration. Um, use your imagination. <laughs> um, I believe that was his coming out episode <laughs> as a big man, but not really because, you know, I've learned over my years that like a lot of people, a lot of Caribbean people also don't necessarily come out. We just live our life, and if you figure it out, you figure it out. If you don't, you don't. Because I know other people who have been like, come out for what? I'm not, they don't tell me about them coming out as straight, so, <laughs> which I, I'm i cool with. But Finesse was talking about his dick being decoration because, like, yeah, no, as a bottom, you know? But, yes, next episode, funny enough, pray the, what? Pray away the gay? Yeah. Party of the night, they're playing soca. Which, which party are you these, going to? <laughs> Who is on the bill when you go to the party? Man, so? listen, listen. That's even, the thing. Even the bad man DJ, them we used to play the North Cartel, them Afi can find to the woman them now, and the woman them say, yo, and them want to hear the soca. We want, <laughs> no, what we want to hear wine in tune. That's what we want to hear. We want to dance. Yeah, but back then, it was more of a throwaway type of thing because, you know, everybody, it was... It wasn't a collective. Yeah, it wasn't a collective. Now it's a collective because Polaroid got bought out. The brand itself got bought out. How the hell did we start talking about Polaroid? <laughs> I'm obsessed with Polaroids, by the way, um, and large format photography, but that's something else. But this is episode 13, Pray With a Gay. Um, oh, we talked about the egg recall. Oh, my goodness. Jamaica Carnival. Ah, that's what we're talking about. Soka, whatever. People are really upset that Jamaica Carnival plays dance all. And on one hand, I get it. But on the other hand, like, it's Jamaica. Like, you know? But, yeah, that was episode 13. Now, episode 14. So, what, people from Florida and people from, like, it's just, ugh. <laughs> like, I'm just still in disbelief. Like, dude, you're 18. Like, what are they teaching you? Why is that okay? Like, it's it's, it's just for themselves at that. And I 
don't like the whole like first of all i hate hearing people say yeah man and that dumb shit like i it grinds my gears like on the next level i mean at the time they found him at 6 30 in the morning so he he planned this out this was premeditated like shit like he made up his mind that hey this is happening and he found the park at a decent time because i mean you're in brooklyn like you know <laughs> park is always busy but that's like dead time 6 30 you know people are waking up getting ready to go about their life whatever whatever like um this episode is called am i pansexual am i pansexual um Oh, we touched on Jamaica getting a new area code. Ah, uh, this is about Janelle Monet when she came out and said that she is open to identifying as pansexual. Funny enough, because since then she done came out with lipstick lover and you know some other she's been showing some skin. I'm not upset at it. I'm not upset at it at all. Um Oh, the kids oh yeah, the rainbow Mickey Mouse ears came out. Um, in Florida and California locations. Yeah, that... People are really upset about that. Like, really, really upset. Um, but I feel like if you don't like them, don't buy them. No? That not make sense? But the idea that most people only have sex with the opposite gender without exception is relatively recent. A hyper-heterosexuality that came to be in response to the recognition and acceptance of homosexuality. So they're saying basically that because homosexuality has become accepted, quote unquote, that is why people feel the need to label themselves as heterosexual to basically give themselves a divide, a separation from being labeled homosexual, despite it being accepted. So there's the name of this episode <laughs> is straight men have a lot of gay sex and still valid still valid um but in the episode we touched on the need for straight people to identify as straight because they don't want to be confused as homosexual so that was that was interesting being celebrated and you know you bigging up your mom your grandmothers aunts and everybody but i do not and i make sure i did not since i work mother's day morning like I didn't openly wish every woman a happy Mother's Day. Like, my cashier, like, every woman that seemed like, you know, she might have kids or she had a child with her, she was like, oh, happy Mother's Day, you know, and it was all received well and light, but that's something that I'm very conscious of because, like, if you know a woman who's lost a child for future references, make sure it's something that's welcomed by them. Like, before... That was a Mother's Day episode, I believe. Um, it's titled A Slightly Emo PSA. Um, it was just centered around Mother's Day because I've come across a lot of people who... They just tell everybody Happy Mother's Day. Like, everybody. And I know, I know it's not being done with ill intention. I know that's, like, all the good intentions when that is um, expressed. But some people are struggling with the loss of a child, um, the loss of a parent, the loss of a mother, the loss of like the inability to have children. Like it, it's a it's a sensitive subject. So I I try to be conscientious when Mother's Day and even Father's Day come around because like not ev it's not a happy day for everyone for every woman or for every man you know so yeah about another poll that i looked up um about united states population um the lgbt population in the united states now i need to find a poll for lgbt caribbeans but good luck with that because a lot of y'all don't even you know outwardly identify and i can accept and understand why but um It's true, though. A lot of y'all don't identify. I just said it, like, not even 10 minutes ago. <laughs> but um, this episode is titled, Is It Really Better to Have Loved and Lost? Because it touches on Bermuda's law allowing gay marriages um, being removed, like, if um, going away. I 
did not um, follow up on that because I'm doing this on a whim right now in this very moment. What time is it? Oh, I have about an hour before I figure out what I'm doing. Uh, we are at, what, 39 minutes? Ah! Um, but yeah, um, talked about if we're more comfortable coming out now um, and the royal wedding. But yeah, this was it's one of those episodes that kind of like baffled me in a way because like what do you mean you made it legal and then took it back you know like no take backs printing don't make sure you represent trinidad and their idea you know what i'm saying okay they passed the buggery law okay bomb okay like if you don't want to have butt sex if you don't want to have gay sex don't have gay sex and i'm gonna keep saying that shit over and over again because why are people so caught up with what y'all doing in y'all bedrooms you know what i'm saying still valid (laughs) it's funny how it jumped from because i'm literally like scrolling through and just like (laughs) clicking on stuff and seeing where it ends up and it's funny that it like landed on that after the bermuda topic that i just stated but you know we move their partner says oh that person is cute yeah but you shouldn't be with that person in the first place if they're that insecure if i can't walk down the street with you and 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 um find a girl attractive and can speak to you about it and man, hey look look at you know look at that girl booty or look Listen. you know it's being funny about mm-hmm. it you know that's a problem i'm one of those still valid <laughs> still valid still valid i cannot date someone who i cannot talk to about things that are visible like what do you mean? I'm I'm supposed to be blind. Like, a lot of y'all be joking, especially, like, I see it on Twitter a lot. We're like, oh, if I have a man, he can't see no other girls. Like, no other girl exists but me. I'm the only girl in the world. And on one hand, that's cute. You know, like, oh, you're the only girl in the world for me. But, like, the only girl in the world? Like, yeah, you did. But, you know, it goes deeper than that. So we'll just, we'll just leave that there. A compressor, an air compressor or something one year. I don't fucking know. My dad be doing handyman shit. And, you know, it's funny. On the topic of my dad, I feel like... (laughs) We then had to come back and visit my dad. So it looks like I'm being bullied. Anyways, this episode is... (laughs) <laughs> it takes a man to be a father it was that episode 20 yeah this is a father's day episode we were talking about um you know getting rid of the deadbeat daddies like if you got kids take care of your children please like it's not their fault that they're here it's yours so take care of them and i'm not going to the facebook and the instagram dads who like show up and they're just there to post a picture of the kid like a court not want to wash off my heart but you know there's just be there the child did not ask to be here the least you can do is be there for them so yeah he's no longer here fuck the fact that he's a celebrity fuck the fact that he did music fuck all of that this is another individual's life that was taken senselessly if you know him my condolences if you don't know him stop pretending you do like that's fucked up just let people rest in peace dog if you don't know like i don't understand like people just be trying to do shit for clout like that's dumb to me like that's that's selfish like no (laughs) yeah (laughs) <laughs> and we don't even want to talk about um clout especially social media has changed so much since this episode aired this is episode 21 stop the fuckery they're still on the fuckery the fuckery has increased the the fuckery has multiplied exponentially like it has when it comes to like people faking things for literal clout it has it, it's 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 out of hand like it's really out of hand at this point and i don't i want better for us i say this on basically every episode i really want better for us it's like uh did you listen to the podcast <laughs> and she's like oh is that what you did this for subscribers and i'm like wait what because before that she's asking are you a stud or a femme and i'm like who cares about labels i we're all the same we get naked it's vagina and titties like leave me alone but you know what I'm saying it's another thing that makes me anxious like talking to people because i don't want you to feel like i'm coming at you for the wrong reason and then i don't want you to be taken aback when you realize listen you are not my type i am not interested in you i want you to understand that you're okay or whatever the case is give you a different viewpoint on people that are similar to you that share similar thoughts and views and feelings you know 
I'm trying to go stud for stud, y'all. <laughs> and if somebody says you have to be a stud to be stud for stud, mind your business. Anyways, um, that was episode 22, 22, um, realizing, wow, ooh, that was strong, realizing and accepting that I have anxiety, um, yeah, social anxiety, performance anxiety (laughs) when it comes to this podcast, I realized I work better under pressure, because look at me, the last day, I literally said, I need to drop episode 100 in June, because Pride Month, right, And look at me, the last day, because I'm a procrastinator, you know? So yeah, there's there's that. I'm trying I'm gonna do better. You know, I'm not gonna try, I'm going to do better. These names when people have their ideas. You tell people saying they're from New York, you come from the Bronx, you go from Brooklyn, Flatbush, you know, you live in Bed Stuy, whatever the case is, people have their prerequisite, like not prerequisite, but like their predisposition, like prejudices. So you can have an idea, but don't make it fuel you enough to actually express it it's gonna stick it's gonna be something that they question when they get older and it's gonna be like hey i'm not allowed to do this because i'm a girl what why like i said before that is probably one of my least favorite mindsets when parents women on a fitness and we can't talk about how people raise them pick me but me personally i really despise hearing limitations being placed on children for the simple fact of their gender the name of this episode is let children be children episode 23 and yeah still still like you know something that i am very passionate about like let children be children like if the little girl wanna climb to a tree make sure to climb to a tree if the boy wanna go yeah like just let kids be kids like, if it's something they show interest in, you can talk to them about it. You can find out what, like, if they even have any intentions or if they're just curious. Because kids like to just do shit. They might not even have any real, like, attraction or being drawn to it. It's just, I saw it. I want to see what it's about. I want to learn. They're inquisitive. They are, they're trying to figure shit out. They're, they're growing. You know what I'm saying? So, like, before you start limiting them based on, like, gender, like, just let, just let them explore and explain to them what it is if it's something that is like different or whatever you know the way it looks like i got a fat pussy (laughs) (laughs) oh my goodness okay so i have a question as far as like dating goes because the question always comes up when people talk about you know people of trans experience like when do you introduce yourself as trans to someone like if you're in a dating scene or if you're at a club or anything like that when do you feel is an appropriate time to come out as trans or is that something you lead with or um some people so this was i i need to stop saying this was one of my favorite episodes because honestly they're all one of my favorite episodes but this is episode 24 you're trans for real i had a trans woman come on freya and discuss you know her trans experience and when it came in she was talking about tucking so that her pussy looked fat because period um that was that was a great episode for me um i think freya's before i i what you call it is freya puerto rican my memory is horrible i believe uh da, da, it does not say in the bio either way she's hispanic um so yeah that was freya episode 12 listen to me these episode names are ridiculous <laughs> oh my gosh like what me depan okay episode 25 so from that i knew like it didn't even feel good like it wasn't even like a a good sensation like i thought about it later i was like hey that was kind of good no thought about the rim job though that was fire but the penetration part no nah. So she turned you out? Yeah, as far as <laughs> rim job, definitely. <laughs> gay, gay sex and, and gay LGBTQ. relation and things like that. Yeah, I think in Canada they're they're Canada starting is... they're starting as young as the fourth grade. Well, that's when they started teaching us about sex ed. No, but that's what I'm saying. That's what we should have been had. We should have been had conversation about the different type of people in the world. And how they may feel and how their chemical buildup is different from our chemical buildup. You have an elective called psychology and sociology? I don't, 
I was trying to find where the title of this <laughs> episode came from because episode 25 is called He's Getting Your Throat Wet. So we're a quarter of the way there. Um, yeah, I'm running through these. I, I don't think I'm going to be talking a lot about the rest of these because what, girl? But um, yeah, the topic of, you know, children learning about LGBT stuff. I don't see why they shouldn't. That's all I have to say about that. Um, well, also, and the fact that the reason some cishet people don't want that to be taught in schools is because they over-sexualize literally everything. And yes, we learned about sex ed in school and we learned about like putting on a condom and like, you know, contraception and things like that. That could all be lumped in to sex ed um, as a whole. I don't even think it should be something separate. I think it should just be something that chips in. That's like, hey, some people might have sex with the same gender. Some people might not. And just let it be like a blanket thing. I'm not telling them to teach you, oh, you got to go do enema um, before you have. Like, no, we're not. <sighs> Anyways. Yeah. No, his face. Uh-huh. Yes. Why? <laughs> it, it, that doesn't look I'm like joking. a lot. Hey. Listen, that's ew. Exactly. Ugh. 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 Long distance because I know he like to fuck. So I was like, I see you once every six months or once every three months. That's so I can't do long distance relationship. Continue. Because you like to fuck. And six months, what? What? Well, that was, <laughs> what? That's not well, a relationship. I mean, he worked for JetBlue, so he could have came more often. He could have been way more often. Better come that. more often. Six <laughs> months, we're not in a relationship. <laughs> I did not remember talking about that on that podcast. Okay, that was episode 26. It was a collaboration with um, a few other podcast hosts. Um, the host from Partially Ignorant and the host from Shadow Tea. Um, the episode is called Ignorant Pointless Tea and Shadow Partially Talks. Um, that... <laughs> woo Yeah. Mm. <laughs> All right. We're running through these guys. We're running through these. Just let people be who they are. Hey, my name used to be Peggy. Now I'm Paul. Hi, Paul. That's it. Hey, I like girls. I like boys. Hey, like, y'all really gotta explain that shit to people? Like, whatever. I that was episode 27, LGBT plus book delivery service? Yes. Um, let's talk about Toys R Us for some odd reason. But... Yeah. <laughs> All I can say is yeah. Like a lot of these topics it's still yeah. Like it's still still valid 8 years later. It Why am I rushing time? 6 years later is 2018. That's what got me. 6 years later still valid. We went through a whole panorama and the shit that happened pre-pandemic, it's yeah. Still still if anything, it's probably gotten a little bit worse, but that's an episode for another time. And it's so weird. I could wear a suit and guys would still try to come on to me. A suit with a tie and, and like, you know, yeah. and they'd still be like, it's just, you're so, vi I like your vibe, you're cool. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> Yo, I was just talking about how when um, Twin just moved um, to Florida and we used to go partying and... I used to be half naked outside. That's when the body was like prime body, like premium body was body. Like the body now was good, you know, we just gonna get work probably like a belly will come through COVID. But you know, the body was bodying. I was invisible to these men. When we said when I get beer ratings, like, and I'm not jealous. I was actually very excited because I can go out as naked as I wanted to and not feel like prey. But my poor friend who does not even like men, was getting all the views like they same thing like oh i just love your vibe you know it's like is it a challenge do you have a kink like mm. somebody needs to unpack that for me we want to go there do we really need to take us go there one? what you thought was gonna happen <laughs> okay so with them like what what are they taught to do block it out yeah People, I watched a documentary mm -hmm. on Hulu. 
the real L word something, but mm. it wasn't the whole season. It was like some little, it was different. Okay. And <sighs> stress, <laughs> like crazy. It, yeah. I, this one lady, she father told me he'd rather me be a whore than be a lesbian. <laughs> but you are a lesbian whore. <laughs> a lesbian. <laughs> Like, right, the whore was telling me not to be a whore. You know well, what I'm saying? Well, you know well. what I'm saying? <laughs> I need to go back and listen to all these episodes. It's been a while since I have, like, during the panorama, I definitely, like, the height of the pandemic, I was definitely going back and listening to the episodes. But OMG, okay, that was the return of Twin on the potty. That was episode 29 from Spice to Salt. We were talking about, um, listen, from Long Time Spice is doing gimmicks, you know, and I don't understand why y'all keep falling for her fuckery. First of all, she's a Leo, a Jamaican Leo. She loved the festivity and the fuckery, like, she's going to do some foolishness. So we were talking about the whole, like, when everybody thought she bleached that one time, and it was like, girl, what? Spice would never, if you were a true Spice fan, you would know that Spice would never bleach. So that's what that episode was about, and then we talked about, obviously, you know, yeah. So that y'all find some of that, cause yeah, these relationships is for the birds. Oof. And <laughs> look, let these people go. Peace Oof. is priceless. Let them go. People gonna be listen. Whoever gonna feel some type of way gonna feel some type of way, but just let that shit go. Let's let it go. <laughs> let it go. Let it go. Let it go. A whole one, a whole nigga. Let it go. And if you know you don't really want to be with somebody, let that go too. Yeah, and if you know somebody don't want to be with you, let that go too. Oh, come again. If you feel like the person don't want to be with you, let that shit go too. All okay. Way. All right. Just right. That's all. Right. That's all. Like right. True. That was episode thirty. Nightmare on Bottom Street. It was a Halloween episode. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you know, you know what? Yes bunch of girls and talk about bad sexual experiences and guys too if y'all want to you know whatever but i felt like some of y'all don't get in y'all feelings because i know that other people listen to the show and friends of friends like i know shadow told me that people be listening to her show and be going <laughs> so i'm just like you know maybe we shouldn't go and talk about the experience itself I want to talk about, like, the mentality behind the experience, like, the feelings that come from the experience. Because a lot of women don't know how to say no and be definite in saying no. I know we talk about, like, me too and... No to what? I was... Listen, I was lost for a bit there because I jumped it in the middle. I was, like, 20 minutes into the episode. But that's episode 31, Say Something. This is an episode about literally what the title says say something like if something doesn't feel comfortable for you if you have um just any discomfort if you see something that doesn't make sense like just say something you know but yeah that is a rule so you do have rules yeah okay then we we can go right back next there. No, 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 no. Next <laughs> That's topic. what you wanted to get to. Yeah. We just wanted to go there. Let you know that you got rules. Yeah, of course. Right. You know, I'm there's some fan. people who don't though. Next topic. You know, I'm not married, so who knows what happens after I get married? Maybe he can do it. Jesus Christ. Men are normal, but I know that right now I'm very vain, and my face is, you know. I just be quick. Ill. Six years later, still ill. Because <laughs> I was listening, trying to figure out what that was about. Ew, ew, ew. Okay, so that was episode 32, I Came to Fuck. Um, that was with um, Shadow T and um, the other half of the Partially Ignorant podcast. Um, yeah, we were talking about rules in a bedroom. Yeah. And apparently I have rules. No facials. Still to this day. No man now come my face. Sorry, not Sorry. A lot of people, like I said, you grow up in a household and you see it all the time. And I always feel like that's one of those things that I want to have liquor in my... I don't want to keep that from my children. Because you know the whole idea of you teach people that th things are bad, it becomes more enticing to them. So I see people yes. who didn't grow up around alcohol, who like they one. get Say older. That Say that again. I like you it. keep things away from people and it becomes more enticing to them on so many different I levels. I love that. Mm-hmm. So... <laughs> That was episode 33. Let's talk about addiction. 
that was it. <laughs> that was literally it. Just let's talk about addiction. Um, I said I was going to stop talking, right? This is why the podcast is called Pointless Talks. Like, I'm going to love chat. My love chat. Kind of like- well, no, she's the one who looked at me and was like, all right, you funny, funny. So, <laughs> you funny, funny. she said, you're funny, funny. That's what she used to say to me. She'd be like, yeah, yeah relax. I'm in the middle, you're funny, you know. And I used to be like, mm, yeah, it was like that. Yeah, you're funny, funny. Okay, no disrespect. I feel like Mama T might have been like a funny, 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 funny herself. <laughs> <laughs> One Mama T, Mama T, like big up Mama T, like anyhow. <laughs> that was episode thirty four, scamming pussy. We had pointless talks, full cast, and the full cast of partially ignorant podcast. That was that was a very very festive episode. <laughs> that was only an hour long. That's funny. That episode is only an hour and five minutes. Oh, no. no. Wait. How long was that episode? Is that an hour and five minutes left? Okay, that episode, it was a decent episode. Um, why do I have an episode that's two hours and 58 minutes? Jesus. Episode 35, I don't believe in bisexual. Maybe oh. you start. Yeah, tomorrow I'll start. So. You're going to work your way around. Yeah, there. exactly, but I get there. So when you start, do you, like, immediately go when you immediately. sail? Yeah, they ready. Tomorrow, you sail I, tomorrow? tomorrow I'll be ready. On on the boat, ready, learning, doing everything. You dock from Miami or for a lot of days? Miami. Miami. Oh, so you man. leaving tomorrow? Leaving. Yeah, that's why I had to squeeze it. When do I do a show on Sunday? I'm going on a ship tomorrow. That was Tevin. Yeah, Tevin said he didn't believe in bisexuals. <laughs> I don't know if that's changed. I'll have to ask him to make sure. But he um, was going on um, to be a cruise director. I believe now he's a flight attendant. Tevin be out here doing all the travel jobs, okay? And I love that. Like, yes. And like I said, that was episode 35. I don't believe in bisexual. Then we have episode 36 here. And that is... Let me be petty. Let me be petty. Y'all the same ones that want to talk about y'all picking and choosing out of the Bible what is okay to be a sin and what is not okay mm-hmm. to be a sin. LGBT, being gay is a sin. And the, the heterosexual people want to be upset about gay people, right? And they want to pick and choose and say it's in the Bible. But they don't talk about wearing mixed fabric or body modifications or lying, cheating, teething, killing, right? Shell, shellfish. Right? Shellfish, all of them something there, Right? That's my favorite. Worshiping false gods, all of this fish. other stuff. <laughs> and then these you know people be saying? trying to point for you. I'd be like, stop. I love talking about body modification because all on the ears bore. Y'all have tattoo. Or not bleach. Or not the whole, uh, hair dye. Cut hair. Like, you're combing your hair. Y'all want to go there? Y'all want to go there? They never want to. I was really upset. I was upset. My. Okay, that was episode 36, Dance All Can't Stall. Um, what happened? Oh, that was when Dalton won X Factor. Dalton is out and proud now. You know, I follow him on Instagram and Dalton, and him man, him good, good man. Yeah, Dalton, you know, Dalton, I live in life. So yeah, that was episode 36, Dance All Can't Stall. Episode 37, huh, that title. <laughs> And the blood started. That Ooh, nigga, before shit. we could even capture mm. this nigga, this nigga dropped the shit and was gone. Yeah. People came from across the street. Yeah. Y'all. And this, is, and this is where we live. In the state we live. Exactly. You feel what I'm saying? You talking about this like a 25, 25 minute ride from home. Mm-hmm. 20 minute ride from home depending how you drive. Yeah. So. We had to go to the hospital. That we was, hospital. That was, was a night. There. I was bruised the fuck up. Listen. Uh, the- uh, we're talking about crazy people in South Beach. Um. One night in Miami. The episode is titled WTF is Cow Dick Soup. And that's for, you know, does anybody know what that is? Like, who's not Jamaican? Cow Cod? Like, have you had it? Do- some inches on it. Fly your fan nation. Fly your fan nation. Thank you for a lot of people. I, but this is my thing. I thought 2018 was shit. And then 2000, wait, I mean, 2000, you know what I thought? Yeah. 2017 was shit. Mm-hmm. And then 2018 came around and was like, oh, Bitch, you, you fucking thought. thought? <laughs> At the top, it was just yeah. like, "What's good?" Like I was like, "Wow, oh, what do you?" Yeah, like <laughs> I would say early nine years. So. But now it's the end of 2018, and hey, despite all of that, hey, things have turned around. Yeah, I mean, grief, mm-hmm. you know, is is a hell of a thing. Hell of a thing, and it comes mm-hmm. in waves. It's a hell yes. of a thing. 
That was episode 38, Seasons Greetings. Obviously, towards the end of the year, that dropped the day before Christmas. It was Christmas Eve episode. Um, You know, it's a quick recap of the year. It was the first year of Pointless Talks. Um, So, yeah. Fly a fair nation. Thank you, Justine. Yeah, but... I've done, I've done I've dated older men, younger men, middle men, just don't mean middle, middle men. men. <laughs> the plug, the, the, the push up. It's just all just all just give me fucking headaches. It's just like I don't have time. And you won't be with a woman. You sure you just, you know, you I'm sure, test there's, this only, right. there's only one woman I would give I would start with. There's only one. Please don't. You said don't. What you wanna say? Mm. It's not a celebrity, is it? No. Oh, oh I thought it was. I, I thought so. That. This is episode 39, How Gay Are You? Is There's a test that was done <laughs> on that episode. You can listen to that for more details. Fly a fan. Yeah, I decided I'm not so doing it. They that. just fucking you. They ain't gay. You forgot? The ass is an ass, right? All of a sudden. Okay. All of a sudden, the ass is an ass. Yeah. All of a sudden. Not when it counts, though. Y- yeah. That whole mentality. I mean, listen... I think is there a GoFundMe for this? I need to look. That I up. I, like I was I was waiting today to see if they put something so I could like donate. Yeah, but I haven't seen anything as yet, but I'm sure probably in the next coming week. I kind of wanted to ask um one of them guys. Oh. That was episode forty. But not bad mind not yes and jealousy. And funny enough, on the topic of that. When I smudge, <laughs> that's literally what I literally walk around my apartment with the windows and the doors open. Bun out bad mind dirty at and jealousy. Every corner, every closet, every doorway, every which way. All in I shower. But bun out bad mind dirty at and jealousy. Because you never know which part. You know, maybe somebody might be wishing on my downfall in a shower, you know? So I have to make sure. Yeah. Um, that's that I decided I'm not gonna go through the extra steps y'all just gonna hear the intro every time and then you can also see when the intro changes ah growth whatever fly but. fan nation <laughs> like Eric Jerome Dickey and shit like that my mom oh, let me boy, read those when I was a kid like, she talked to us about you sex must- over here reading freaking mm-hmm. lovers and friends yes milking my coffee milking sister my coffee. sister like <laughs> come through you know i was reading all the books sister soldier coldest winner sister. ever all of that same age range as r kelly I'm and sorry, how, Aaliyah. What's their thing again? about what do you mean their age range i think about 14 years or so separate something like that i don't know for sure Okay, this episode is episode number 41, Boys with Money and Power. Obviously, we touched on um, the Pied Piper, and we talked about um, Trump. Um, just, you know, literally, boys with money and power. Um, Fly a fair yeah. nation. Fly a fair nation. Thank you for whatever you identify as. Um, I wouldn't say, like, an age... But it's just time. Like, it takes time. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. No, I have, a, like, a thing. I read. Go ahead. <laughs> it, it, my drink kind of strong. It tastes good, though, but it's strong. Mm. Yeah, so, like, it's just... I don't think it depends on the age difference. It just depends on time, like, how you feel. Mm-hmm. And, like, how everybody feels, like, around you. Even though you know. This episode was with Kendall. He's Jamaican, and he was just talking. It's called um, "Living a Double Life," so you can take from that what it, what you will. Um, we're just talking about his experience as being, you know, Jamaican and gay, growing up in a household that that wasn't necessarily accepted, and how he navigated that. Fly a fair nation in a prison because you know how many people don't even know that they're pregnant till like two months down the line, like longer than that, like. A month and change you know what i'm saying so i don't know what he's talking about like whatever but it actually takes six weeks to detect the heartbeat of a fetus so that's where that is current episode 43 women kick ass and i think i'm just gonna do this opposite way sorry i was i was reading the bio for the next one Shall episode 40 Oh. Napoleon Jenny. Episode 44, what's your message? And Quinn, Quentin Perron. Perron. Listen, I'm sorry if I butchered your name. I'm sorry, but they've made history as the first male cheerleaders to perform at a Super Bowl. 
bruh, it's too much a scent to it, right? You get me? Like, I like, I just love oatmeal, okay? And it's textured and all that good stuff. It's great. It's basically saying men need to take ownership. What's wrong with that? Like, take ownership. That's really all it is. Like, this episode I talked about, um, this was a short episode, I think it's like 10 minutes, um, 10 to 20 minutes, no, I think it was 18 minutes, I don't know, something like that. Um, we're talking about some small businesses and things of that nature. Fly your fan nation. Yo. Mm-hmm. I hate this girl, dog. <laughs> Y'all be sending uh, tips and tricks and like, things. Like, says DC stuff, we'll be like, yes, please, or yeah, like, this is it, like, this is what you want to do, whether it be like some sexy shit, you know, like like some you know, kinky shit. Yeah. And she'll be like, she like it, or how you like this, or she, it's a, but That's episode 45, No Shame with Dem Sugar. We were talking about, um, you know, your preferences, things that you discuss with your partner, because you should discuss with your partner the things that you guys participate in together. So, yeah. This episode first. Fly a fair nation. Fly a fair nation. Thank you for tuning in to me like that. Unless you my, like, unless you my woman, then, like, she could get away with it. But don't put your foot on me. Don't wiggle your toes around me too, too much. <laughs> I don't like people who just sit and wiggle their feet. I feel like you're weird as fuck. Like, stop moving your fucking foot. That shit is bizarre. Once again, unless you're my woman, I really don't like it. And kids and babies and stuff. And, like, grown people. But, like... Y'all regular age motherfuckers, like, move your feet. Like, I don't care. They pretty, oh, your feet look good. Get the fuck out of here. I don't want to put your foot in my mouth. I don't want to do none of that. Like, and y'all just be putting your foot on people's face. I will break your fucking ankle on me. Oh, no. 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 I'm sorry. Damn it. Twitch should have been here for this so we could talk about that. First of all, still valid. Do not put your feet on her. She <laughs> <laughs> I forgot she went in on wiggling toes like this because like I'm a toe wiggler like I be not just ran well just randomly but not just you know just any old whatever but that was episode 46 close your forgiveness and giggles because obviously all we do is giggle but yeah fly a fan nation fly a fan <laughs> Y'all finna be drunk as fuck. Don't listen to me for real though no yeah. stumble home and not remember where you put the fish that's <laughs> no Mm-mm. Mia, no, no. Let's stress if we think about it still. Oh. Hey. Mia, I feel like I miss the damn time. Like, I'm not doing it. Like, honestly, I don't. Um, oh, wow. The shooting. The mosque or whatever? Yes, the two. <laughs> Episode 47 Free Cheese Tricks. I'm sure that was about a delivery service for. Snacks from Fly Jamaica. Fly a fan nation. Fly a fan nation. I love to bring up mackerel, right? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? Because I'm tired of talking about this black No, girl. stop it. I... <laughs> uh... Yo, why is Twin like this? That's episode 48, You Thought. We were talking about planets in retrogrades and people acting up. Um... <laughs> Fly a fan nation. A guy was standing there, staring her at, staring a woman down like that. We both would have probably been like, "Yo, is this this man okay? Like, why are you, why are you looking at her like that?" But another situation that happened that night: text message. Like we were talking about the other day. You see something interesting? Send a picture. How you feel about this? Because y'all look on my story. I be posting all types of wild shit sometimes. I'm Kim and Gabrielle. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Their son. Yes. Yes. These people have said the nerve. The nerve. I thought you were talking about because last night was his last game. <laughs> so I was like, what happened? Episode 49, Stimulate or Penetrate. Um, oh, no. Why did I call Code up like that? But he do look dirty. Uh, <laughs> I've been reading the summary on these episodes sometimes, and I'm like, oh, my goodness. But, yeah, we discussed um, double standards, the benefits of... Um, that benefits women, how age and attraction affects whether you're splash waterfalls or, you know, yeah. Um, episode 50, we are more than halfway down. We're getting there. We're getting there. Um, what was that? Yeah, episode 49. So this is episode 50. This is only 10 minutes? What is this about? Oh, shit. Fly a fan nation. Fly, that's weird. 
Like, that's real weird. And I didn't realize that this was something that would bother me until it happened. But if you see me post a picture of my niece or my best friend or, like, a person I'm dating or whatever the case is, don't walk up to them as somebody who knows me on some, oh, you're Janae's, da, da, da. oh, you know, pointless. That's weird. Even, like, you know so-and-so is, like, eh. But going down the list of, like, how they know you or, like, how you're related to the person that they know, that's kind of weird, like, if I make any sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right, let's say me and Twin are just, like, friends. We are not doing this podcast together. We're just friends. And someone who I'm friends with, like, let's say someone I went to high school with, sees Twin all over my Instagram, seen her on Facebook, seen her on my Snapchat, whatever, whatever I post about her, and walk up to her and be like, Oh, hey twin. You're 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 twin twin. You're like you're Janae's twin. You're you're de- Episode 50. Please don't be weird. That is still valid because people are still doing weird stuff to this day. So, yeah, don't be weird. Fly a fan nation. Fly a- um the other day <laughs> everybody was going crazy because being a man commented on Daniel um Instagram or whatever page it was. Because she posted something about she's trying to get started um, with her music or something like that. And be the man to keep shining. I'm like, y'all really took that. Harassment comes in all types of forms. When y'all have them HR meetings at work, when they talk about sexual harassment and things that are acceptable in the workplace, yo, they talk about how y'all talk to each other. At my job, they tell us that customers as well as other employees can be held accountable for sexual harassment. You can- Episode 51 is called Don't Bad Me Up. Oh, that was after I went to the um, 5th Annual Caribbean Pride in Fort Lauderdale. That was that was an experience. I saw Amara La Negra. That was fun. Fly a fan nation, etc. If you don't see trans women as a woman, you're part of the problem, period. Like, I don't, I don't care. There's no arguing. You can't argue with me about that. You're part of the problem. I don't care. And that was literally the reason why this episode was titled all black lives matter because people are trying to pick and choose which black lives matter and they all do that was episode 52 this episode of the pointless talks podcast was sponsored by word ziggy she you know i'm saying gets whatever whatever she goes on with her life passing she instead of standing with them she goes on to live her life as a passing woman and doesn't like disclose her shit to anybody because unless you know you don't know you know what i'm saying so it makes me think about like people like you know how they always say that lesbians have it easier or like whatever the case is or you know tops like men that are like more um masculine presenting or whatever they have it easier than like bottoms and like feminine presenting men or like you know like more effeminate men stuff like that they have it that was episode 53 a little uniformity um i stopped it i started it at the right place because yeah just because you're passing as what is deemed society like deemed acceptable by society does not mean you should like disregard the community that you are a part of. Fly a fan nation. Fly a fan nation. Thank you. Obviously. And yeah, today is July 20th. It's the morning, Saturday morning, and I am recording this before I go get drunk for the whole weekend, basically. So I was sick as hell. I need to get back to that level of dedication. Episode 54, Crokey will talk to you later. That was after I came back from St. Vincent Carnival. This actually dropped on my birthday, 2019. Aw, look at me. I turned how old in that year? Wow. Big old man things. But yeah, I need to get back to that level of dedication because I lost my voice and I still recorded an episode. Like, I need to get it together. Fly a fan nation. Like, I saw a comment, I can't remember whose page it was on, where somebody was like, oh, I'm LGBT too, so don't even. I'm like, what? We are the most homophobic within the community. We are the most transphobic within the community. Biphobic. Like, what? You can't... Episode 55, we don't love each other. That, I'm dropping these in at the right time. Like, that was great, you know? Fly a fan nation. Fly a fan they see that there's another person there because you know they have the conductor and then they have the man that's driving well if you don't know 
<laughs> in Jamaican taxi, especially when you're doing like the minivan ones, they have somebody that is collecting the money and conducting. They tell you where to sit. They shift around, shift around, make sure that it's properly packed so that, you know, more people can fit in and it's whatever. Already, and this is going to be your first time ever watching Disney movies. It's probably not for you anyways, but <laughs> if it's your first time watching these Disney movies and you don't go into it with an open mind or you don't like see the awe of what it was supposed to be and you're focusing on the negative things that are in it like chill they did not know better at the time just like a lot of things that's going on in the world now that they're trying to go back in history and like i say go back in history but like go back to people's like old things that they've done and yeah that's episode 56 fucked up individuals fly a fair nation fly a God, let's go. Go see people like Naomi. It look the same. Yeah. It's, no matter just, what you do. We just watch, we watch people do all type of sitting to all type of tear off. They want to put some of this in your soul. This in your soul. Things have been happening and you never said nothing about it. Mm. But all of a sudden, this one at what? It get too much traction. Like, too much people are talking about it. Too much people, like, a couple claps to that ass. And that's just what it's going to be. You should be able to, as an adult, control yourself Suck and be dick. able to articulate. Suck my dick. Suck my dick. Suck my dick. Suck my dick. I don't care. Suck- <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> okay, I need to go back. I'm Literally, I'm going to go back and listen to all of these episodes. That was episode 57. 2020 just started. And while I'm doing this, I'm actually going to try and see if I can use a different platform to listen to these because I know that there's a better way. I was just on Spotify, but I know there's a better way to do this. We're, we, I know there's a better way. Let me... No, I don't want to shuffle. Thank no, you. no, 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 no shuffle. Is it going to let me do it? What was that? Episode what? 57. Oh, that was episode 57. 2020 just started. Um, 57. So what come after 57? 58. Yep, 58. All right. So we're doing this. Mm -hmm. Sex traffickers. Mm -hmm. Maybe it is a legitimate job and they just not, you know, the person who wrote the Regular scammers. Yes. And it could be a multitude of things, right? No, you just part with you. Peace you. be with you. All of you. that. I am. Hey, I, different strokes for different folks. I. I don't know. So that was episode 58 is talking okay i believe that was the first video episode um that's on youtube um we were talking about you know like you the netflix series um and we discovered that we were among stalkers <laughs> okay see that's 58 oh yes i can do it this way oh look at my life getting easier okay bet those things that i've offered like i don't know food I like sushi and all types of things. Japan. Not for food. Japan. I'm not going for food. I've learned a lot of things by watching these shows, like the housewives and all of them. They go to these places huh? and they make sure, they let me know where not to go. The housewives, let you, night, whatever the hell time of day that was, it was, that was dark. Rough, right? <laughs> it was rough. <laughs> it was rough. That was episode 59. January is canceled because what was happening January 2020? Like things just started wild. Okay, and I, I'm horrible because I kind of blew past it because I was like, I don't know if I need to be having this whole conversation with you. I don't, <laughs> don't want to say nothing that your parent might not be comfortable with me saying or whatever. So I kind of just like left it alone. But that poor book, Jesus Christ, I still have it somewhere. I still have I was troubled. some of mine from when I was like 12, 13. I don't know where they are. I was troubled. Funny enough, I went through... um yeah, this was before I moved. This was before I moved. So I went through some of my books the other day. This is so off topic. And I'm so sad because like a lot of the books that I thought I had, I forgot that I threw out when I was moving because it was in a storage closet that had a leak and like my container had a crack. It was just not meant for me to have it because it was it was put away in a way that would prevent it from being damaged and it still ended up getting damaged so yeah but that was episode 60 freaky tuxedo there's a question mark so i said it like that it's like what so what do you what do you mean the, 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 huh so, like, they, they hit us right on the head 
Yeah. Early. Yeah. Before we got to middle school. Because they know. Yeah. Because they know. <laughs> Somebody had sense back then because they know that those are the age. Like some people don't wait yeah. till twelve to get their first period. Some people having it at nine. And you know, or at myself. You get what I mean? What about the people though who, like, just be in relationship after relationship after relationship that don't really get no break in between? So they're not necessarily by themselves at any specific point in time. They are because. <sighs> Okay, that was episode 61, Hit Dogs Will Holler. Um, there was quite some hollering on that episode. We, we talked about a lot of things. We touched on some subjects that were kind of sensitive. So, yeah, Hit Dogs Will Holler. Um, this is episode 62, Bad Mind Don't Pay. It is, a lot of stuff that we experienced, too, is not even shit that was really awful. So, like, it's so, like, desensitized that yes. it is, that it's just, like, normal. And yeah. like, other people be like, wait, you, you what? And I'm just yeah. like... That's like, a big deal? Listen. Right. How about that? If stop you don't thinking feel... Because somebody's gay, they got touched. Stop thinking, oh, oh, this guy broke your heart, this girl broke your heart. Oh. But also, but also, <sighs> some some of y'all, you know, like... Y'all be know. trying. Um, yeah, that episode... Just go listen to it. <laughs> this is episode 63. Corona got me fucked up. This was the start of the pandemic. Oh my gosh. I do all that water them and the battery and everything. And you know, Florida, we be getting these scares. And then we in Florida, like, oh, it was a tropical storm, category five, my ass. Yeah. They be trying to come return. The- no, son. No, no, no hurricane. Do you guys return. tell them there's no hurricane returns? Yeah. I love that. None. Not one. Take it, guy. Yeah. Go do something with it. You can use it. You got toilet paper and water. Go do something. Like, it's crazy, man. And just like, there's like all these videos of, you know, people in the stores and whatnot. Yo, people, ruthless energy. Stupid. <laughs> people have bought Alkia 2067. Some people don't have one. First of all, this lady was buying, you remember how, I don't know if they showed um, online, somebody was buying like six gallons of milk. And I'm like, uh, how know, long I do might... you plan on. Yeah, it's, it says two weeks quarantine. Yeah, check, check. I want to be, look, sir, best before a while. Best before. People really were acting up. The beginning of the pandemic, like, and even throughout, but the beginning was crazy. Um, dang, so we only did one episode before? Because this next episode is episode 64, two years later, the recap. COVID gone? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just say just better anyway. Yeah, I'm just going right to Capsi. Forget all the Listen, got Capsi. <laughs> that the orange man was shelling out the money. Um, shelling out the money before him come out to office and all, but no, I had this geriatric man. And him said, no, I'm not getting not one penny. No. Not one blood clot penny. That man said, oh no, and I got work. Fuck you mean. Then unemployed. <laughs> and the fact that Anyways, did y'all watch the presidential debate? Mm. Episode 65, D&D. No more. I hate the idea of ghosting people. I love it. Get them but, no, but, but I like when they, they respect the ghost, though. Like, I don't respond, you don't respond. Listen, we both know this shit ain't going nowhere. Bet. Good. No awkward conversations need to happen. It's cool. Even though my love talk, certain conversations I don't want to have. Um, this next one is episode 66, day li- oh, Saving Daylight. And, and you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And crashed into the two officers that pulled her over That's and the time. pedestrian that they went to go, like... That they got the call for. Yeah, that they got the call for. I ain't... I think it was Roe, actually. I think it was. Just be like, oh, I gotta don't go. Don't leave. <laughs> don't go. I'm here if you need me man yeah <laughs> yeah i just mm-mm. i'm not with it i'm not with oh excuse me um yeah episode 66 saving daylight oh crap i think i might actually have to be doing something hold on episode 67 slap way soon come soon come i am oh shit hold on
the timing on me checking that that's crazy my spirit said check your phone and i checked my phone because i'm supposed to be doing something at noon it's 11 55 what time is i've been doing an hour and a half this we're going good because they're on episode 67 so we have what 32 more to go so let's go let's go let's go episode 67 slap way thank you for tuning in to the pointless talks <laughs> Yep. Oh yeah, so, that was a new yeah, intro. We'll talk about that the next, yeah. like whenever you get to watch it and all that shit. But um, mm-hmm. talk about others, <laughs> those others. But, <laughs> but I was just like, I was really appalled. I was like, what? Do I don't know what. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm about to s- slide through these. I'm sorry, guys. Episode sixty-eight for us by us. <laughs> Whoa. What it is? Okay, sorry. Jesus, yeah, yeah, your whole chest. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, and them shit slapped. She, listen, she made a whole bunch of shit actually. I love me a fantastic. Yo, I know you want. That's nice in them. Mm hmm. Wow. Nice amount of salt with the liquor and everything, too. Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Episode 69 Weed and Sex. 69 on 420. Wrong. No, no, like, no, no, <laughs> not that's not how that works. Mm-mm. So, what you think you're doing over there might not work over here. So, you need to, I mean, if it's your first few times, try to. People so worried about getting to it and getting it right and proving this thing that they missed the whole point of learning. Like, this is your first time experiencing this person. So you know, it's funny you, you say that you're trying to learn them. What feels episode 70 religion and acceptance. Girl, if y'all listen, do not go back on Downlink. Downlink is ghetto. Downlink was like, yo, you had to be there. Really. Listen, her is ghetto. Okay, the her app is what ghetto. Is her? her is it is her woman seeking woman in non-binary. Wait, 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 wait. So les, okay, so it's for like lesbians, but also. I guess FTMs, MTFs, uh, no, both. Uh, Episode 71, proper pussy maintenance. Okay, listen, I know some people, how much pick the manure? Like, I know people who have had babies, like, literally damn near every year for the last 15 years, okay? It's a thing, it's it's especially yeah, the I know. First one. It's like mm-hmm. freaking out, and you're like, "Oh my gosh, what if I do this yeah. wrong? What if the baby don't come out right? Suppose the baby don't want to come out. What am I supposed to do? Is the baby just going down? You know what I mean? It's a lot. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm crazy, but I feel like my body is gonna do what it's supposed to do if I don't feel any discomfort. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I don't feel any discomfort, I feel like that it's gonna pregnancy? do. Because well, in general, because I feel like my body is going to heal itself no matter what. Of course, sometimes you might need a little help. Look at ginger tea, oh, yeah, on, you know? I like said, hold on now. Okay, at any time? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For the most part, of course, there's things that you can do to help or enhance and whatever. Mm-hmm. But for the most part, I feel like the human body, if you take care of it the way you're supposed to, if you nourish it and things of that nature. And, you know, if you have... Seven uh, out of ten times? Seven out yes, of ten times? Yes. Yes. People that have been taking care of their body all day long. Yeah. And still if there's no, like, ailments, out. like... Like, you know what I'm saying? No outstanding. Episode 72, hide and <laughs> go dick. Oh, <laughs> things. Mm-hmm. Ordered until God knows when. Will not let it go. My mother trying to city fest, whatever you call them. Shit, on everything. Um, please make sure you have your own money to um, book your accommodations, get your food. Um, any little shopping, little things you want to do? Because we all know when you go on these things, you go to turn up, correct? You go to transportation. Do- yes, you go to act the fuck up with your friends, turn up. Y'all go to the strip clubs, y'all throw the money, all of that shit. And I need y'all to be prepared. Episode 73, what a shit show. House to the supermarket. And you trying to tell me you can't be black in America at the end of you- the day? Well, you never could. Exactly. You never really could. That's what I said. I understand. I understand. (laughs) Literally. That's what I said. I understand what it is. I'm not even going to sit here and be like, I don't understand. I understand at the end of the day. And, um. Episode 74, dating your cousin? I think it's going to be somebody else. I'd be bored on this app. I really do. Oh, my gosh. Delete that for one more. 
Thank you. Oh, what is I'm this? not gonna. Oh, thank you for me messing up. Thank you for nothing because you know they're gonna send him over there. He gonna be a free man. <laughs> this is what a you? simulation, yo. <laughs> This is all shit you would see in a movie, like exchanging yes. niggas. But like, come on, son. Mm-hmm. While there's a war going on, while mm-hmm. monkeypox is in the air, mm-hmm. while they're having shootings at school, what the fuck is going on? There's too much happening. Like, please, the monkeypox, though, son. That's not coming, oh, auntie. <laughs> that was a lot. Episode seventy-five. Help. To look a kiss me ass friend them nothing because they're gonna tell you the bad information or whatever wrong information right, and next thing you know, know i got shit to do i had no damn sex talk i kind of just that was the extent of it though it wasn't like no the birds and the beat no, no it was like, just we ain't never had no damn sex talk it just never and happened. also she <laughs> let me read <laughs> just like we think this mother effer knows <laughs> what the hell going episode 76 we're here and we're queer oh Zoom in. <laughs> that don't really look like where she's supposed to be. I'd be like, in the middle of some woods. I'd be like, what you doing? <laughs> huh? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Just checking. <laughs> Listen, between you, Wit, and Yuri, I, my, say, I know you would be on that ass. Dog, this nigga be texting me at the most random times about some. When are you going home? Yeah, nigga, what? Are you coming home? Because what you doing over here for some. <laughs> hey, listen. <laughs> Putin. Listen, I need to stop sharing my location with people. Yeah, whatever. Um, episode 77, Heat Wave. That's really what the pageant is about. It's not necessarily... I mean, it does say a beauty pageant when you look it up. However, it does say that it is geared more towards, First like, all, you know, philanthropy type of things. are not for beauty. A lot of these bitches are mm-hmm. for talent and poise mm-hmm. and all that other shit. But it is not for beauty. Mm-hmm. Episode 78. All of these got rainbows in them, so I'm guessing these are all during Pride Month last year? Yeah, I think it was last year. Let me let me see. Behind this track. Yeah. Oh, no. This was, this was 2022. Not 2023. 2022. Oh, yeah. Before shit got rough. <laughs> yeah. And, you know. I'm <laughs> oh, um, sorry. I didn't even tell y'all what this one was. This was episode 78. You're doing so good. Listen, I'm not supposed to have a seat. Listen, Mr. Uh, when I said people come and I watch that, you know, Mr. Yeah, Kuya. Yeah. Foot them uh-huh. out and grease up well nice. Okay, yes. you see that? Because I'm playing. <laughs> we don't do the ash round here. We don't. Episode 79, Roe v. Wade. Plot body. Like, especially at the rate at which people are paying for abortions. Like, I heard them things cost hundreds of dollars. So somebody want to drop a couple grand or however much money to go have a safe abortion, why not make it legal? It's a business at the end of the day, right? But no, you know what it is? It's more expenses to have to give birth than to have an abortion. That's where the money's at. What? Bringing babies into the world? Hell yeah. That's how they make it. It's deeper than that, but we we I'm sure we talked about that in that episode also. Episode 80, The Laws this they changing all of this they taking this out they fixing this up shit about to be real thank you yeah very mm. i keep talking about it. i need to go do the stamp passport <laughs> i still ain't renew my jamaican passport i just and i need to put in for my dual citizenship yes I... just know that you know Life has been happening since 2022, okay? So that's that's all I'm going to say. Um, this is episode 81, Space Pussy. I'd be bathing with none of y'all. I don't know. So. I was just never fuck. Listen, yeah. I would get myself together. It was like a great mini whole bath before I get back to class, but I was not showering with y'all bitches. Yeah. No. Yeah, I, I was, was just worried about that whole thing. thing. I'm sorry, I was not trying to be in the shower with these funk ew in the showers, the school showers. Yes, ew. Who was cleaning that bathroom? Not that that girl. Just... Listen, I, I would have my little rag. Mom used to give me my, my little rag or whatever. I used to wipe <laughs> up, keep it cute, put on. Gotta go. <laughs> not a little tidy. Um, episode eighty two: laid off, fired, or furlough. Listen, I miss yo. We used to live in Brooklyn. We used to look like literally a clown car when we pull up places because we used to have so many people in the car. Like literally, like the way I see life, like you, you and nobody life not gonna look the same. Like mm-hmm. you run your own race and you do your own thing. Like 
chill. Some of y'all are out there kind of like me, been chilling way too hard, though. <laughs> so the universe is kind of like, hey, bitch, here's your universal mm-hmm. push. <laughs> That universal push was intense. Um, episode 83, Pox of the Monkey. <laughs> the family room. <laughs> oh, shit. What she said? Good night, took her in Because that's what you made. Like, let's stop. In Georgia, I want to go see it. Like, hello, hi. Listen, <laughs> and babe know who Oliver is. Okay. <laughs> So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I need that. So, even if you're not Jamaican or from the islands, you need to at least be some kind of aware. Even if you just know who Popcorn is, like, I'm fine with it. Because oh no, some no, no, people. No, 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 yeah, I need. Yeah, still valid. Still need you to be Caribbeanly, Caribbeanly inclined. <laughs> but yes, I need you to know some things. But no, I have made um, a more strict rule about dating um, nowadays. I'm being more intentional. You know, since the last episode, them two months. Not that things just change overnight, but it just got really intense the last two months. Like I've done a lot of, you know, but. Episode 84, we have 15 more to go, guys. 15 more to go. Episode 84, in between clothes. To a a, a Jamaican Leo woman. Yeah. Control wear. Control wear. Yeah. That kind of sound like the rest of my room. did I try do a thing with? Because I was like, damn, that mush up. And I said, damn, me and my rest of did mush up too. And uh, mm, damn. (laughs) That was about spice on our rest of if you guys didn't figure that out. Um, episode 85, Aki and Bati. I mean, it can be, I guess that could be monetary sometimes, but sometimes I and I broke, I'm a can't get no dollar. So mm-hmm. my thing is, I try with the words, of course. But like I said, I'll be praying for praying the hell for people like crazy. So that's my <laughs> thing. Prayer, and I try to support as an, you know, I'm a hype beast. So mm-hmm. I'm always here for the big up. The cheerleader. Because I like to see people. <laughs> Come on, sunshine. Shine, shine. shine. Episode 86, let's talk about... Is this a long one? Let's talk about grief. Is this longer? Grief? Yeah, just let's talk about grief. See, the the ellipses threw me off because, like, what are we talking about? Oh, Jesus. On a bad scale. You feel me? I spoke to her, and I I didn't like the way she sounded to begin with. Mm -hmm. So I was just like, oh, fuck. Like, so mentally, I was kind of preparing myself. And you know, yeah. sometimes you don't have always have time to prepare yourself or not. I mean, mm-hmm. it happened. Grief hit me like bricks. I tried to go to work the next day <laughs> and was in that bitch boohooing. Oh my god! But I had like you know I was in the office and it was like clear, so it was me. But it hit me like bricks. I never felt that before, mm-hmm. and <clears throat> it was unreal. Um, I couldn't. I don't know if I couldn't believe it. Hmm. I could believe it because it was just like, oh shit, like this is fucking happening. And I could kind yeah. of, I kind of felt, you know, where you know when you're close to someone and they kind of like leave earth, I feel like you have this feeling. Yep. That leaves you like a piece of you. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, yeah, this is too fucking real. Like, yeah. So double back um, to episode two. That is the reason why, if you guys didn't know, um, that's the reason why I was on the episode by myself <laughs> for episode two and a few episodes after because grief. And then crazy enough, um, long story short, both of our grandmas passed away um, the same year. So it's like, oh, so we're keeping this twin thing going for real, for real. Yay. Um, but yeah, that episode about grief was we discussed some things you should check it out if you or anyone you know are dealing with grief um it does come in spurts it does come in waves there's no right way to grieve so if you are grieving i don't want you to on top of your grief also be beating yourself up about if you're not doing something right if you're doing it wrong like it's no don't do that all right episode 87 oh no 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 okay technical difficulties oh goodness okay hold on funny enough twin is facetiming me hi i'm recording an episode <laughs> yo, 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 yo. 
yo, yo, big up, big up. Oh, you see, this was alignment, alignment. <laughs> Big up, pointless bumble clatter. Hello, hello. You're hilarious. Sugar, Colin, and Wanda. Space time. This is hilarious. It's so stupid. Yeah, look how we are still. Let's keep it on my mistake. Oh my goodness. Oh, kind of looks like cover, cover right there now. But big up, people. Happy Pride Month. Is it? Happy Pride. It is. Yeah. Look how we just call me. Look at that. Yo, it's what people are lying and saying that. You are hilarious. I'm just running through the episodes, like literally just running through. I'm like almost done. I'm on episode like episode 100. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yes. Yes, sir. Yeah. Well, big up all the people them. All the batty people them. All the batty people them. Mighty. Yeah. Like batty sometimes. Wink, wink. Um, for myself, thank you for the love and support and all them stuff and the follow them and the posts and all of that, all the love. Um, all of that. Soon come. I shall be there shortly. Not for this episode, yeah, but shortly. <laughs> You're low key on this episode, but yes. Yeah, 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 That's yeah, crazy. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> but, um, big up on the self. Pointless. Do you think? Yeah. Later. I'll call you back. All right. All right. <laughs> okay yes back on track um episode 87 i just love when things align like i hope y'all were able to hear her but um episode 87 down in the valley how they reach uh, mexico interesting i have okay. no idea not that it's a problem or anything i'm just curious because they went from jamaica to mexico then to mm-hmm. like cali so how mm-hmm. did you get to mexico from jamaica like it ain't like you said oh they got to florida they got to mexico yeah we're talking about you know the transportation from like immigrants um from jamaica and some other countries too like there's like a i'm not gonna say a gate but like there's like a a bypass essentially through mexico that gets you like asylum that's the word i'm looking for asylum that gets you into um, america refugees and you know people fleeing for safety reasons etc this is episode 88 we got 11 more to go episode 88 happy carnival you see you know uh i'm like when people keep up for karina yo one carnival son <laughs> we swore we was going what was that two dollar two dollar yeah, fat one dollar fat it was a two dollar fat and i definitely was ignorant about my two dollars because y'all gonna charge me Bro, 46 no cents on bullshit. top of it that party is tonight listen to me two dollar fat bright color edition listen to me okay no <laughs> music by international episode 89 thank you for tuning in to uh that was this year. Look at me. We're in this year. Okay, so episode 89. Um, Happy six years. Things about their life. Like, why do you feel so entitled? Them don't know you. Like, why do you feel like they're supposed to tell you that? Like, anyways, I said I wasn't going to get started, so I'm not going to get started. Um, I don't know what I was going to say. I was. I had a thought. Just just a second. It just slipped me just so quick. Oh, jeez. I get old enough. Um, but yeah. First episode of the year, first episode back, uh, first episode of the week. Well, the week done, because last week was the first of, whatever. Anyways, I don't know what I'm saying. Um, yeah. That- and this was when the videos started on a consistent basis, episode 89. This episode 90. Yeah, right oh, I didn't read the title. Episode 90, all this excitement. It was bull dagger. <laughs> I just... <laughs> wow i don't know who said hey we're gonna call them that but the indian stud saying that she does not identify as a stud because that is strictly for black people that was a moment and i episode 91 jamaica's january because if we never know jamaica did not run january this year okay been going to like slipknot and corn and like stuff like that like i'm not and i'm old i don't know any of the new kids you know i've doing it a cappella. like it's i i'm i was thoroughly enjoying it but i don't know if it done though because major hype went live and said that 
this is his last response. Somebody called him the other day and, well, called him, what was it, Major Kingdom the other day because he said he wasn't responding, but then come back with a response. So I'm like, mm, it's giving Major Kingdom for real. Episode 92, Gimmicks. Doesn't, it doesn't matter. What you eat don't make me shit. So your opinion, another set of the rap girl, another set of the female artiste. <laughs> This episode sounds like shit. That audio is horrible. Out of all the episodes, that audio sounds bad. I think I was trying something different with that one. Ew. Okay. Episode 93, I want a patty. Since it is February, Valentine's Valentine's is coming. Where's your boyfriend? Um, I see that. I'm sorry, I see that. It's literally next week. Valentine's Day is next week. Um, Manana Valentine. Nobody now look me. Um, which is fine by me, coming out. Nobody need him. But I just feel like, as a proper good girl, it says something to me that nobody had dead over me, you know? Um, and Candy and Randy, I get married. Period. I'm not bad mind, you know, but I just feel like say, it says something about me. But I don't know what it says, but it says something. All right. Episode 94, Red Flags I've Ignored of me and consistent communicate all the fun things that make things wonderful you know compatibility and all of them all of them sees right and I was thinking about like the things that I've overlooked in relationships and not to say that like I was just like oh you know I, I just want to be with you so bad it was I wasn't dating intentionally I can be 100% I'll be the first one to admit I was not dating intentionally for a period of time I ended up in relationships versus you know wanting to necessarily be in really for for a long time for a long long time i even if it wasn't like an official boyfriend girlfriend situation or girlfriend girlfriend whatever i ended up in situationships <laughs> because like i didn't mind and i think that's such that's not a good way to go about being in a relationship it, that's true but that kind of goes in tandem with the previous statement of as a good gal but it's the intention that was lacking, but it is there now. And I'm not about to waste my time, you know? I'm ready for it and nice. Like, ready Oh, ready. sorry. This is episode 95, I Feel Away. Come, nigga, like, strap in. We're going for a ride. <laughs> so I'm trying my best to not self-sabotage, <laughs> which I am so good at. And I realize that I'm looking all over. I get nervous. I'm having issues <laughs> with eye contact. <laughs> but I... I'm nervous. My whole life, I live in nerves and fear. But, you know, we make it so far, so we are right still. Episode 96, is she asexual? I'm going to be honest with y'all. I watched the first video, the first 10 minutes, and even that was, like, a bit much for me because... <sighs> Great marketing tactic. Great. Because at the end of the day, TikTok is where you're going to get all your views. This is where you're going to get your streaming. You're going to get your money. You're going to get all of that. Speaking of, I'm trying to make some changes and get better about TikTok. So there's that. Episode 97, are you keeping the porn? And they drink, you know. I typically don't like to drink in the middle of the work day. Um, after work, though, you can catch me. Like, we can go to a bar. We can have some drinks. But... In the middle of work, not to say that I'm a lightweight or anything, because we know I'm not. But my timeline, however, because I do not want to see that shit when I go back on my timeline. Episode 98, in quotations, no. My chest feel tight. Like, the, I've been, okay. There are people calling for him to also resign as principal of the high school. Now, why is the school name Tacky? <laughs> and the final episode, funny enough, it is episode 99, Yan and Emoji Cosmic. The title of the episode, yeah? Mighty Jesus. I. <sighs> someone said, um, someone um, reposted it and was like, this is why I always give out my number when they ask. And like, yes, also. And. Way, 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 way back in the day, I used to give out a fake number, but niggas started calling on the spot. So I got a little text now number, and I was giving that number out because... 
And that's that on that, episode 99. We ran through all 99 episodes of the Pointless Talks podcast in under two hours, and I'm proud of myself. I don't know why I thought I was gonna be able to do it in one hour, because my love chat, like I've said multiple times throughout this episode. Um, but yeah, I am really grateful for everyone who literally stuck through the whole episode. Shout out to Twin for calling though. Like, first of all, I want y'all to know, we don't even FaceTime that often. Like, I think, did she FaceTime me multiple times? Because my phone's on DND. My phone is on DND. No, she's in my favorites. So she bypassed the. <laughs> that's so funny. That is hilarious. I. <sighs> that just made me feel so much better about this. <laughs> like, y'all don't even understand. Like, I be. Were we texting? Did I ignore a text? Or was it just a coincidence? Oh, we were texting. Oh, yeah. Like, it was like literally like just a conversation, like a regular conversation. I gave her some insight on some stuff and she just randomly called me like, yes, yes, that, <sighs> that was great. Okay, so moving forward, um, I'm, this is gonna be better. It was literally just the anxiety because y'all saw when I started this year, I was dropping these episodes week after week after week, no hitch, no nothing, no problems. It was just episode that caused the friction, okay? So the friction gone now, episode 100 is done. It's in the bag, it is recorded. We just need to go edit, edit it and drop it on the platform then. This might drop tonight because I have some things I need to do. So if it's not done within the next, because it's 1221 right now, if we can't done this in the next 20, 30 minutes, then we have to leave it till later tonight. So if this drop, at night time, hush, sorry, okay, my bad. But it's a drop before midnight reach because I still Pride Month and we have to get this out in, you know, in the month of Pride. Um, make sure you check us out. Um, if you haven't listened to all the episodes, I just ran through them. If something sounds super enticing, go back and listen. I mean, I highly recommend listening to all of the episodes from beginning to end. It is a journey. Um, for those of you who have been here from the beginning, for those of you who bad me up these past couple months about episode 100, Onomoma. Okay? Like, the episode is here now. It dropped. And there's a few of you, you know, shout out to y'all. But yes, we are still crafting, we are still potting. If you have any questions, suggestions, or anything of the sort, please reach out to askpointless at gmail.com. If you follow me on the social media platforms, TikTok, um, TikTok, yeah, TikTok, um, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, even Facebook, everything is Pointless Talks, P-O-I-N-T-L-E-S-S-S-T-A-L-K-S. You can find the links on the website pointlesstalks.com or in the bio of any of these pages because I have a link tree with all the all the ways to contact, all the ways to find us, all the ways to listen, all the ways to, you know, participate in all things pointless. So yeah, just like everything else we do, pointless talks, pointless creates, whether you got here on purpose or by fate, thank you so, 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 so much for listening, for tuning in to this episode of Pointless Talks. Bye.